How to get an engineering internship. Before I begin, I would like to let you know that I based my career around electrical engineering from a state school in California, and I had no trouble obtaining an internship or a job. I'm a first generation engineer and had no contact in any industry to quote quote hook me up. My university was not well ranked, nor does it have a well known engineering program. In fact, our job fairs were rather small, and we actually got very few well known companies to attend. Typically, the companies that recruited at my university were local companies or startups looking for some hidden talent. If you are in a similar situation, I encourage you to listen and give my steps a try. You will be surprised with how much you can accomplish, even if you think your school is not well known, doesn't have any good engineering program, or is not providing good enough resources for you. If you are attending a well known university, or a university with a great engineering program, then you are very lucky and you should have no problem getting an internship if you follow these steps. Then let's talk about what you need to do. There are four essential steps you have to take in order to dramatically increase your chances of getting an internship. And the first and most important thing that you have to do is build an amazing resume. I cannot emphasize how important this is. This is probably the most important step in getting an internship or a job. So, what do I mean by build an amazing resume? Let me explain. When I say build, I mean that from the moment you watch this video, you have to make decisions to better your resume. Your resume will be your credibility ticket to the recruiters, so the decisions that you make in university should be for the purpose of improving your resume. Now let me deviate a little to talk about some of the things you can start working on right now that will make your resume amazing. Projects. Projects will provide you with the greatest credibility. Projects can either be individual or as part of your university. Projects that are part of your university are the most important, so as soon as you get a chance to join one, whether it is by volunteering or applying, you should do it. These projects are the most important because it provides real world work and it adds a professor to your credibility list. The professor can then write you a letter or recommendation and even help you get a job or an internship since professors typically have a lot of contacts. Individual projects are also very important as they show companies that you are interested in the field and have learned how to do things on your own. Things like soldering, programming, and basic experiments are all achievable at home. You can actually buy a cheap microcontroller and learn a great deal. Relevant work experience. Relevant work experience can actually be any work experience. It doesn't have to be engineering related, but if you word your skills correctly, any job can be relevant to engineering. For example, let's say you constantly have to deal with people that speak Mandarin and Spanish at your local fast food joint. You can word your resume to make it sound like you support clients in Mandarin and other languages and write something like, specialize in customer service, supporting over 100 customers in Mandarin, Spanish, and English on a daily basis. This is relevant because a lot of companies have sent a lot of their work abroad, so speaking more than one language can be very important. Grades. If you don't have any experience or any project experience, the next thing that recruiters look at are your grades. So do everything in your power to keep your GPA above 3.0. Most companies typically have a strict GPA requirement. So the higher your GPA, the better your chances will be. If you don't have a high GPA, don't worry too much. Just make sure you join or start working on a project to overshadow that GPA. Clubs. 
Clubs also build a great resume by giving you the opportunity to do volunteer work, technical work, and take on leadership roles. All things that look great on your resume. If you are interested in learning how to write a resume, look in the description below for a link where I create a sample engineering resume from scratch. Now let's move on. The second step to obtain an internship is applying online. It might seem obvious, but you would be surprised to know how many internship positions go unfilled due to a lack of applications. I know sometimes it can be quite frustrating since filling out boxes can be very tedious, but I encourage you to apply to a wider rate of internship positions. I have a friend who actually got an internship at a really cool place just by applying online. He didn't even have an on-site interview. He just talked to a recruiter on the phone. You should also attempt to apply for internships in different states. Companies will pay for your housing and working in a different location can really extend your learning by exposing you to different cultures, different cities, and different weather. The third step is to attend job fairs. Job fairs are going to be your greatest help in, to get that internship. I personally got all my internships and job offers from job fairs, so I know how helpful they can be. Make sure you attend your university's engineering job fair as a lot of companies are actually interested in hiring students. One of the things I wish I knew before going to university was to join academic clubs. Certain engineering clubs hold national job fairs and often, since they are national job fairs, a lot of the big name companies show up to recruit. These job fairs are unique and great because at these job fairs, a lot of these companies are forced to interview a certain number of students. So you have a chance to get an internship and on a worst case scenario, you get to practice. Some of the clubs or societies with national job fairs are NSB, National Society for Black Engineers, SHIP, Society for Hispanic Professional Engineers, and SWE, Society for Women Engineers, just to name a few. If you are interested in knowing how to prepare and tackle a job fair, watch the second video in the description box below. Finally, the last step to get an internship is to prepare for the interview. Once you manage to score an interview, the final hill you have to climb is getting through the interview itself. Interviews can be very nerve wracking, but if you prepare well enough, the interview can become the easiest part in the process. I was very fortunate to be part of a high school program consisting of interview training, which now allows me to feel very confident at every interview. There are several tips and tricks involved, and if you are interested, leave a like and a comment below and I will make a video regarding engineering job interviews. That's it for this video, and in summary, you have to 1. Build a great resume. Two. Apply, apply, and apply. Three, attend all job fairs. And four, prepare for the interview. If you are interested in engineering or have any questions regarding any topic, please leave a comment and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.